Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the return of the Everton News Daily. It feels like ages uh, since we did one of these, but it is January and there is so much news going on at the moment uh, regarding Everton Football Club. It's it's ridiculous how much um, how much rumour and speculation and and yeah everything else from the board to the manager to the players. Let's let's concentrate. On the playing situation today, um, you know, there's lots going on out there. Let's get into our main story. Everton have been linked with Lorient winger Dango Watere. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, for 20 million euros, uh, he's got five goals and five assists. Um, lightning quick. Um, so, other clubs have been linked to them. I think the likes of Leicester and West Ham have been linked to them as well. Uh, maybe Southampton as well. Um, yeah, big, strong, pacey winger. Exactly what Everton need. need. Everton have also been linked with his teammate, Tina Moffey, who I think has got something like 10 goals this season as well. I mean, if you could get both of those players, then Everton would be in a hell of a position going forward um, for the rest of the season as they try and stay stay away from the bottom three, which is, of course, where we are right now. But um, if you could get those two players, probably probably have to pay around 40 to 45 million for those players. You'd give, be giving yourself a, a, a big, big chance of staying in the Premier League. Whether Everton have got that kind of money, I don't know. But if you could maybe convince those players to come to Everton, then... You'd give yourself a chance. Um, it's just nice to be linked with someone again. Doesn't feel like we've been linked with anyone, but we'll have to wait and see. They are the kind of players Everton should be linked with. He's 21, Moffy's 23. Uh, sorry, he's 21 next month, and Moffy's 23. So the right age, um, coming from the right kind of league uh, at the right stage of their career. For me, Everton should be looking at these deals, whether they get them done, whether they would look at both of them, whether they could convince them to come to a club like Everton. Just in where we are at the moment, we'll have to wait and see. But um yeah, we'll have to wait and see whether there's anything in that and, and anything um actually happens in the next couple of weeks or so. Everton need players in as soon as they can, let's be honest. We should have had players in by now, but so be it. Um the rest of the news basically is outs or potential outs. Um, Nathan Broadhead is close to completing a move to Ipswich. That's for £1.5 million or around that. Uh, he's obviously been recalled from Wigan to go um, and sort that deal out with Ipswich. We're obviously trying to get back into the Championship. Hopefully that'll be done in the next 24 hours. Another deal that looks like it could be done in the next 24 hours is Tom Cannon to Preston on loan. Um, he scored a, a brilliant free kick on Friday night for Everton under 21s um in their defeat by West Ham but it was a great free kick and it's he is ready now to to obviously go on loan we've obviously recalled Ellis Sims and obviously we want to bring players in for the next stage of his de development Tom Cannon is ready to go on loan so it looks like that will be Preston in the next 24 hours as I said uh Delhi um Besiktas are trying to cut his loan short, um, but they don't really have any room to go with this one because if they do cut it short, they still have to pay all the money for his wages for the rest of the season. Um, so they might as well just keep him. There's no there's no agreement in place to cut that short, so he'll probably have to continue at Besiktas for the rest of the season. He hasn't really done anything there. Uh, it hasn't really worked for him personally, which is sad but it doesn't look like he'll be coming back anytime soon. Uh, Michael Keane, apparently Southampton wants him on wants him on loan and bid for him on loan, but Everton uh, unwilling to let him go. Um, it'd have to be on a permanent deal. Maybe the two clubs can get together on Saturday and thrash out a deal. I don't know, but um, he uh, will not be leaving on loan. There's obviously been talk... Uh, of him going to Forest on loan as well, but Everton won't entertain offers for him. The same with Mason Holgate um, as well, in terms of they will not let them go on loan. It depends what I suppose, with Everton playing three at the back as well, how many did they actually need to keep? Do they need to, would they be prepared to let a Michael Keane go? 
maybe, as I said, if it's a permanent move and it leads to Everton being able to bring other players in, then then maybe they will let him go, even though Southampton at the moment would be seen as rivals. Uh, Tom Davis has been linked with a move to uh, Rangers with even their uh, manager, Michael Beale, saying that he is someone who kicked his Liverpool under-23s team everywhere, um, but he likes to play. There was even a rumour that Tom might have been in um, Glasgow yesterday. Um, obviously, he's free at the end of the season, so could could potentially move at the end of the season. Or if Everton could, again, if Everton could bring someone in, um, then maybe Everton would be would be willing to let him go. Of course, Alex Awobi will be out for three weeks with an ankle lig- ligament injury that he sustained on Friday night against Manchester United. So that throws a spanner in, in the works in terms of midfielders. The core is obviously wanted by Fulham. Um, and James Garner isn't set to be back from injury till till February. So all those things could be a factor in whether um, Tom Davis leaves the club. Uh, I, I, you know, I imagine Everton would be willing to let him go because he is free at the end of the season with no real contract um, contract uh, terms on going or any kind, you know, anything looking like it's uh, looking like it's going to happen. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, but there's 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 so much going on at the moment. It's 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 absolutely ridiculous. Um, there's also the talk of Jordan Pickford possibly leaving to go to Spurs, uh, maybe at the end of the season with no contract talks happening there either. So lots going on for Everton. Um, lots to juggle at the moment, and we'll have to wait and see what happens. Lots happening with with the, with the situation with the board as well. There's a planned sitting on after the game on Saturday. There's a planned coach welcoming before the game on Saturday. Um, yeah, we've had Joe Thomas in here today to talk about it from the Liverpool Echo. Obviously, he posted the front page um, article and headline last week as well. So that will be on Toffee TV Premier tomorrow. We've had Jazz Ball from the Fan Advisory Board in today talking about the. Um, meetings that they'll be holding open public meetings this week um to address the board afterwards that video will be up tonight on youtube so make sure you check that out as well um one other piece of news roberto martinez has been given the job as portugal coach uh, so that's one name that won't be coming to Everton. Thankfully. There you go. This has been the Everton News Daily. There's been a hell of a lot to get through. Uh, We'll be back tomorrow. See you later.